Why hello everyone, it's Tani here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing kind of a trend on my channel where we do questionable things that lead us to a presidency. Today that is going to be using only the black market to fund our presidential campaign. In BitLife, of course. We're gonna get into it soon, but before we do, I wanna give today's post notification shout out to, to Carter Bradshaw 3198 Thank you for turning on my post notifications. If you guys ever wanna shout out in one of my videos, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications and comment down, down below and you could be next. And with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so here we have our guy, uh, Tony Chapman. I was born a male in Oklahoma City, United States, and I was a planned pregnancy. Uh, good to know. <laughs> so the game plan is that we are only allowed to do crime. Okay, but not just any crime. Basically, we're only allowed to do crime in order to make an income that can potentially get us a museum. So for example, we can do crime so we can make enough money to buy a house, rent the house out to someone, etc., and then use that money to buy a museum. Even though we made money from having the house, it still all comes from crime. But as soon as we have a museum, the only income we can make is from the museum in order to fund a presidential campaign. So that's the gist of this, you guys will see as I play. Well, that being said, let's get into it. I just realized my family is very interesting. My mom has green hair. I have orange hair with like golden yellow eyes. So we're all very unique. Okay, so we're in an all boys elementary school. That's fine. We can't do any activities yet, but we basically have to make sure we do not get caught. Like that is so important because that could be used against us in a presidential election, right? So it's very important we go to school for political science and then get a good education, join a lot of school activities and clubs. So we give off a really good first impression and then slowly build it up a school director mayor etc we gotta make sure we study harder and we're finally in middle school so it's time to join some activities anything that looks good for us nothing really honestly that looks good for like a political career we could do electronics or math club let's try math club and also the yearbook club i feel like those those would be good and we're old enough to start doing burglary so we're gonna do some burglary just so we have enough money to like begin our life in case we ever need it. An auto mechanic, period. This is too good to be true, so we're going to age. A venture capitalist had a diamond and we stole it. Thank you. Okay, we're finally in high school. So let's see if there's any political club. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. Okay, there's not. So we'll join foreign language club as well as the chess club. And let's do science club. That should be good. Just gotta really study harder so our grades don't suffer. We do have high popularity though, so we could join a clique, but it's not really necessary, so we don't have to. BMW, because we're not gonna do mafia even though mafia makes it like so much easier to get away with crimes because then we have to leave the country after when we leave but we want to be president so okay we sold the bmw let's sell it now i'm gonna go for lower just in case okay we sold it to a prostitute but it's fine so far so good i'm just waiting till we turn 16 so my parents can get us a car legally of course <laughs> and then we'll have some money you know driver's test we passed oh I didn't get anything. But either way, I was about to say, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't sell the car that our parents get us because we do have to make money from crime. Oh, <laughs> we're actually... Listen, I always film at nighttime because the lighting looks the best with my purple lights. And it's 11 o'clock, so I could, if I'm filming for another hour, I could do a train robbery. This video, depending on how well my campaigns go, it might be, it might be a long video or it could be short, so we'll see. But let's do another Grand Theft Auto. Let's do an Infinity QX, all that as well. Ooh, ooh, not scrap. 20K, sure. Okay, period. We're 18, apply to university. Let's go for political science. Scholarship. <sighs> That's not good. Ask parents, they agreed. Oh, we need some good activities. Like it'd be perfect if there was like politics club or like honor society. Oh, academic decathlon. My grade, come on. That happens every time. <laughs> okay, we'll try next year, but let's do business club. Now they should let me join. Okay, they did. So I guess your grade bar has to be literally full, which is annoying, but it's fine. Oh, maybe I should join a clique, but do like smart kids, like brainy kids. Ask permission, he agreed. Okay, so we're part of the Brainy Kids clique. We're also part of Academic Decathlon and Business Club. So those all seem very good for like a resume, you know? So let's do a little bit more crime. We could do bank robbery, but I'm kind of scared. The safer options are burglary and Grand Theft Auto. You just have to hope that you get like a, 
a diamond. <laughs> oh, we stole a pimp's watch, period. I think it's time, even though we're in university, we look for a home, honestly. I know sometimes I make a rule where I'm not allowed to use real estate, but using only burglary and cars, it would be very hard to make $5 million early enough to start a museum business that'll make us like hundreds of millions. Let's go with a house that's in the green condition. So this one's good, we'll buy with cash and we're gonna become a landlord. <laughs> so let's upgrade our home. We're gonna add a pottery studio. Oh jokes, we can't afford it. A swimming pool, probably not. Look for another contractor or someone to do it for cheap, please. Oh no. Game room? Okay, let's do patio. Good, okay, got it. And now we're gonna rent this out for $800 a month. Just. Just max it out, baby. <laughs> Not any harder, we're probably gonna be so stressed. Oh, I forgot, we have to go on Mediterranean diet as well because I don't know how long this video is gonna take. I don't know if we need to live till 100, but it's very possible. I always do this just in case. And it's funny because the last video I filmed, it was the one where I went to jail or whatever. I literally just uploaded it. What was it called? Oh yeah, I was a rock star and I didn't go on the Mediterranean diet and then I died. <laughs> so. I'm a bit superstitious about it. We're gonna read a book and age. While out jogging, you receive a call from your tenant, Bradley, who tells you he is hosting uh, the Last of Us viewing party and wants to know if you'd like to attend. Sure. Oh, yes, we're gonna be secretary of the Academic Decathlon Club. My professor's flirting with me. Listen, this is a scandal waiting to happen for when I run. Report him. Okay, we visited the dean's office and reported our professor for behaving inappropriately and he was fired. Good, put that on record. <laughs> we robbed a Delf. Oh my god, I robbed him myself. I literally misclicked bank robbery, but but it worked, so <laughs> I'm not mad, but that was a complete accident. We have graduated. Okay, Whew. so now we don't necessarily need to go to graduate school to be a president or anything. I think we can honestly save the money. We are going to sell this house, so unfortunately, Bradley, you gotta go. Who wants to squat? Seek legal aid. I lost. Are you joking? Are you joking? Honey, you gotta go, thank you. And sell this property. Now to buy a new property, we're honestly not gonna add any amenities because we just basically can't afford it. We'll just rent that baby out. Okay, approve, and let's start doing more crime. We're gonna do a car again, just in case. BMW. Oh, no, flee the scene. Let's do the Mercedes Benz. Flee the scene, I'm gonna cry. Ford F-150, okay, period. Usually when we're just trying to build up our crime skill, like in Mafia or anything, it's not important to sell it, but because we actually need the money, we have to sell. Take it, I'm so scared. It's it's so like 50-50 with getting caught selling the cars. Like you can successfully steal them, but to sell them is another story. Alfa Romero, four <laughs> Only 14? Oh, it's 11 years old, whatever. Sold it to a Reddit troll. <laughs> Please. Businessman. Oh, I was hoping he'd have a diamond. That's fine though. Jaguar XJ, please be worth a lot. Yes. Take his offer. 55 grand. Then we're gonna be able to have two properties at once. Yay. Do a little bit of burglary. Ooh, a millionaire. <gasps> yes. You had a watch. Okay, we have enough to buy a second property. This is now things are gonna start growing exponentially. Okay, let's go with this town home. It's like decent condition, but we'll add the amenities. Cocktail bar and a photography dark room and rent it out. Laren, let's go. 100 grand, please someone buy it. Okay, we'll go for 110. No, a mobster has offered it. Yeah. Mafia. It's gonna age one more year and then I'm selling the other properties. Okay, our net worth is 500,000. That McLaren helped so much. So now we're gonna get a good house and then we are one tenth of the way to be able to afford a museum. And I've decided that I'm not gonna do anything crazy for the museum. Like I'm not gonna make it so that I need hundreds of millions to get art. We're just gonna go like artifacts basically. Let's get this colonial home. We're not gonna add any amenities. We're just gonna rent it right away. I don't even think we have enough money, frankly, to add any amenities. Like a sauna, how much? 5k okay we could do that at least but let's just rent it six thousand a month and age 72k period okay we have enough money to get another house so the crime especially that mclaren has helped us so much okay let's go for this mm, can't afford that one i was gonna say the spanish colonial home but what about this santa fe home we'll do that and then with these two properties we could be good and maybe a third one would help go for a bank robbery maybe oh <laughs> did it with a hatchet disguised as a fisherman and we got 194,000 period. Our net worth is only 1.3 mil. Okay, let's age and see how much rent we're getting. Okay, so I just aged a couple years because I was at the point where I had like three houses and I sold them all. We made it to the 5 million. We were able to add amenities. So now it is time 
to use the money we made from crime, which we used to buy houses, which we're using to buy our museum so we can get things from the black market, okay? So it's time to buy a museum. The Presidential Museum, select name. It almost looks like presidential. We're only gonna get things from the black market to put in the museum and we're not gonna go with art or anything cause that's way too expensive, but definitely the antiques are good. So this is a Victorian pocket watch, purchase it. Let's go for maybe a jewel, a diamond, please give it to me. No, he a, he's suspected me of wearing a wire. Okay, arms then. They all have good attitudes, which is good. So an arms dealer has some brass knuckles, purchase. Give it to me. <laughs> he says I'm a snitch. Well, anyways, let's go see if this is authentic. Authentic, good. Okay, let's add it to our main wing. Okay, what are we gonna charge for tickets for my uh, one thing? <laughs> I don't care, I'm charging max. <laughs> well, reading up on the latest Adele news, you were, what Adele news? She says she knows you visited his shop before, so you might as well tell her everything you know. I don't know anything. The fact that I already have five mil in my bank balance and my net worth is already 10. Okay, back to the black market. Another antique. Ooh, first edition of Harry Potter, please. Okay, I have to threaten her. You gotta go. Ha, ah, she withdrew her offer. Let's go. Okay, let's see if it is authentic. Oh, yes. Okay. And this time we'll get a jewel, hopefully. Diamond, please, please. <laughs> yes. Yes, the soccer mom attacked me. I don't care because I have a diamond and the diamond is real. <laughs> this is good because not only are they all in good condition, they are pretty good appeal. Yes, okay. We got a first edition of The Hobbit and we also got a pearl. Pearl is real. Okay, hopefully The Hobbit is. <gasps> <laughs> no, you're joking. Discard. Oh, I paid so much for that too. That's so annoying. Well, we're adding the pearl at least. Okay, considering how much money we're making, our net worth is 24 mil, so we're doing good. I think I'm just gonna fill the main wing of our museum. So we're gonna get two more pieces this year and then we're gonna run for school director. Because if we lose, like there's four year wait between, right? So let's go for antique peddler. <gasps> oh, the Prince guitar. Offer more money. Threaten, yes. Okay, so I've realized when they have a low like threat, threaten them and then they'll back off. When they have a high threat, just offer more money. And the jewel, an amethyst, yes, okay, perfect. Amethyst is real, let's go. And the prince guitar, fingers crossed, authentic, yes. And that is our main wing filled, okay? We're adding the amethyst and now the guitar and we made 600,000 a month. I'm not trying to make like the maximum obviously, but we're doing good so far. So let's just try. Let's let's go for it. Occupation, special career. Oh, not musician, politician. And let's go for school board director. Maximum budget. Let's go for economy. Okay, this guy is Mike Rizzo. Doesn't have good smarts or money, but we'll treat him with indifference. While listening to your opponent, Mike Rizzo's response during a debate, he makes a comment that's an outright lie. Wait patiently. Ah! <laughs> I won my landslide. Oh, board director, let's go. So in the basically 12 years it takes for us to do like the multiple politics stuff, you know, to be president, we're gonna be making so much money from the museum. Like my bank balance is 25 mil, but my net worth is 31. So we're doing really good. So let's just see, let's, let's go do our job besties. Our political agenda. Oh, jokes, I have to check my approval ratings. So pretty much everything but economy, pretty much. So let's go to our agenda, increase education, increase environment, social issues, Issues. Let's do a rally, maximum budget, energetic, make a speech, spread awareness about the social issues to the public. Very good. Alleviate public fears about education and we'll do a live stream. Good. Our approval rating jumped up to 62, so that's good. Okay, let's do a rally. Energetic as always. Pretty good. Approval rating 73, I'll take it. Your advisors remind you that you haven't been seen too much in public lately and suggest it may be a good idea to stage a photo up. It's so interesting having the museum pop-ups of me literally like doing crime. The, and then the politics ones. Let's go to March Against Domestic Violence, I guess. My net worth is insane. I'm making so much money. I only have one wing. We're at 48 million, so we are gonna be very good for money. This black market is funding our career. Our approval rating is 87. We'll do spread awareness about social issues. So right now we gotta work on education and environment. So let's alleviate public fears about the environment to the public. Alleviate public fears for education. Oh, mm. Whatever, we'll just do a rally. Okay, our term has ended for school director. We're gonna resign. Oh, I've waltz. Hives. Okay, that's great. Good to know. <laughs> 
there's so many pop-ups because I'm doing so many things at once. But now we're on to our next part, mayor of Oklahoma City. Treat with respect. This is where it gets intense now. During your campaign, you discover that a campaign assistant may have taken a bribe from an oil lobbyist. Fire them. Not even gonna risk it. Your campaign team tells you that voters want to know your plan for managing the budget if elected a city mayor. Decrease taxes and raise spending, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at me go. Get to work, honey. My net worth is doing amazing. And we literally are selling the full amount. Look at that. Oh, we got to clean everything. They are in such bad condition. How was I making so much money still? Literally all you need, even only having one item, I made 400000 a month. Like you literally could just fund your presidential campaign by having one item in a museum. That's literally no work. Obviously, if you work harder than I am and try to get the two mil or three mil a month, that'll be even more insane. Ooh, environment and economy especially. That's not good. Traces of lead found in drinking water. Okay, so let's spread awareness on environment. Let's do a rally. A serious one. Require all passengers on commercial flights to applaud safe landing and boo crash landings. No, I can't. A lobbyist wants to offer me. They're trying to bribe me. Refuse. Michael Bublé performs heartfelt song about struggling economy. Okay, so definitely economy we have to work on. And miracle of birth occurs for a hundred and ten billionth time. So would that be healthcare? Brag about accomplishments? Yeah. The police are at the museum about to confiscate our diamond. Lie. Okay, they apologized. <laughs> a recent study put forth by the Office of the Surgeon General shows a significant decline in licensed medical practitioners over the last five years. If the number of graduates continues on its current path, your city could enter a healthcare crisis. Either medical scholarships or student loan. Let's go scholarships. And our approval's 81, so that was good. While visiting your museum, one afternoon, a patron approaches you saying the museum stinks. Find the source. Okay, our term ended. Our approval rating was 91. Getting a bit old though. I think I'm gonna resign. I know that might be bad, but the thing is, is I think I'm gonna go for two terms for governor. So we're gonna do 10 million budget and same thing, Democrat healthcare. That's just like a superstition of mine. Every time I try to be president, I always do that one. If good ethics, treat with respect. Well, on the camping trail, a young girl in a wheelchair approaches you asking, if you get elected, what will you do to make public areas in your state more accessible? Planning on it. Moments before appearing on stage for a live debate, your opponent, Bill Meyer, pulls you aside to covertly expose a whistle whiskey flask in his coat pocket and asks if you'd like to ease the nerves. Politely decline. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, okay. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go again for governor. Hopefully win that and then president. Famous politician. Okay, period. Our net worth is 114 mil. So with these next eight years, it should be fine. Okay, economy and education and healthcare need a lot of help. Education and increase everything a little bit. More hospitals needed to accommodate raising population. Health Insurance Corporation caught hacking DNA database. Okay, so let's do some alleviate public fears, baby. Okay. Police want to confiscate my prince's guitar. Listen, it's real. I just didn't get it the good way. Lie. They always buy the story. Guys, let's pass a law that requires any hole punched in the wall to be framed and, <laughs> and must remain for a minimum of 18 months. Who are we, Hardin Scott? <laughs> a trusted advisor is recommending you increase the education budget by 30%. She says it may hurt the economy in the short term, but it'll prove to be significantly beneficial to your state. Let's just do 10%, okay? Okay, we're running for re-election. Same thing, $10 million healthcare, baby. The last governor, that was me. <laughs> and they wanna know what you will do to make your leadership more transparent. Um, let citizens look through my phone. No, appoint politically diverse advisors, address the public every week, assure them you're not corrupt. Ah, politically diverse advisors, honestly. Not me winning by a landslide every time. So economy and education are the only ones really lacking. So increase that, decrease healthcare. Breathing oxygen linked to staying alive. Spread awareness about how everybody should breathe oxygen i mean god this museum thing is so op i made a million dollars in a month and i'm literally not doing anything social activists are protesting a planned growth policy you supported that unbeknownst to you grants permission to build a private golf course on lands allocated to affordable housing reverse my support sure okay i should check my museum though to make sure everything's in good condition yeah they're all trash okay we need to clean everything it costs a lot of money to clean eight thousand dollars huh and we're back <laughs> okay our term ended okay so my reign as governor ended and i waited till we were 70 so it was like a very satisfying number to start on just so i could have a little bit more money in my bank balance because we have a bunch of money obviously invested in our museum but i wanted at least over 200 mil and now it's time to begin what we were here for what 
we literally were created for in this moment. Presidency funded by the black market. Like that is what we are here for. So we are going to be president, okay? Let's do some healthcare and let's do this. So a campaign advisor assigned to marketing asks you which form of advertising you feel should be the primary focus. Let's do television. Various media companies are coming at you with offers to be featured in their magazine. You recognize this as a prime opportunity to get your face in front of the public and decide to accept one of their offers. Psychology Today. The media has reported that you ate your identical twin in the womb. Deny. I won! Look at that, President of the United States. I funded this with the black market. I literally only have $150 left in my bank balance. I used every penny I had. I'm proud of us, we did it. I'm going to end the video here. I am so happy. Look, that is my presidency, okay? And then here we have our presidential museum. This is the thing that funded us, okay? Let's, let's look at the stats, okay? Annual revenue is 12 mil, period. I'm gonna end his life and see what it says. <laughs> So net worth was only six mil. Oh yeah, because uh, we spent all our money on the election. Inexplicably, Tony Chapman surrendered at the age of 70 and no one came to his funeral. Um, a dapper and brilliant young fellow, he studied political science at university. Tony's hard work, uh, Tony's hard work paid off when he became governor. What about when I became president? <laughs> Friends laugh as they recall the time he called the cops in a serial killer. Why is that funny? That's actually very serious, just saying. Um, well guys, I hope you enjoyed. You guys should definitely give this a try. Try and use crime to get enough money to buy a museum and only use things from the black market to use in your museum so you can fund your presidential campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.